sure some of you watch my videos and are like, what is this idiot gonna deep fry next? Well, today it's Philly cheesesteaks. Got a nice ribeye here. It's been hanging out in the freezer for a couple hours. This will make it really easy to slice thin. This is thinner than the guy's hair who my ex-girlfriend cheated on me with. I hate that guy. Anyways, gonna slice up a white onion. I wish I had better knife skills, but like I told my ex-girlfriend about my sex game, this is as good as it's gonna get. And then I'm also gonna slice up a green pepper. Adding a couple tablespoons of olive oil to a pan I got on medium heat, gonna throw in my peppers and onions and just cook them until I think they're cooked. You know, of course season them with salt. Don't say I don't season my stuff, you can see me season them. But I'm basically just gonna cook these until they're like kind of brown and charred like this. That's, they're done. That's how I like it. Cook however you'd like it. Adding another tablespoon of olive oil and throwing in my ribeye. Now because it's sliced thin, this will cook pretty quickly. I think I cooked it in about three to five minutes. Seasoning with just salt, and it's not because I forgot the pepper. I, I totally meant to just do salt. That's, that's what I meant to do. Peppers, onion, steak, done. Then I'm just gonna cut open some rolls. I was hoping to find some bigger ones, but this was the best I could find at my grocery store. I had to make do with what I have. And then I'm gonna crack, I think, five eggs and scramble them. Then I'm taking the rolls, dipping it in the egg and frying it in canola oil at 350 for I think about three to five minutes, just at least until it's golden brown, until you think it looks good. If you've, even if you're gonna attempt this, I doubt you attempt this. Like, I do stupid shit like this. Normal people don't make stuff like this. Now that the bread's fried, it's time to assemble, adding some provolone cheese, the steak, and of course, onions and peppers gonna double fist this cheesesteak into the fry oil with two sets of tongs and I think I dipped it for like one and a half to two minutes until the steak looked nice and crispy uh, but it's done now and it's ready for its close-up. I did it again, barely. Now, all that's left is to take this deep fried Philly cheesesteak and <gasps> onto, whoa, check that. Okay, we're good. It smells like a Philly cheesesteak. It is dense, very heavy, but how does it taste? I don't hate it. And you can probably tell that because I took like eight bites. I think the bread was the most interesting part. It's kind of hard to describe. But I mean, it's a Philly cheesesteak and it's deep fried. All things that are good. But you want to know where it ranks on the slap meter. I'm going to give it, hmm, do I need another bite? No, yep, no, I do, I do. A couple more bites. But I'm going to give it one, two, three, four, and a half slaps. 4.5 out of five slaps. It slaps. Hey you, did you like this shit you saw today? If so, please like and subscribe. Also, follow me on the gram and TikTok at Average Kurt Cooks. Salute to you guys for watching. I'm gonna sit here, get really fat, really happy, and down on these deep fried Philly cheesesteaks. I'll catch you guys next time. I mean, the whole thing tasted really good. The bread was the most interesting part. It kind of tasted like French toasty. It's like a French toast Philly cheesesteak, which inspired me. My next video is gonna be deep fried French toast. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm just gonna go finish the rest of this because I have zero self-control. I'll see you guys next time.